It is uh, a lady who has always entertained us here so magnificently over the years and uh, was the first last year of the KCAI instructors, a wonderful uh, institution from the Kennel Club, to receive a KCAI award and uh, recognition for her world work in uh, field trials and gun dogs. She's going to bring in a whole team of gun dogs. And after that, we've got the wonderful uh, brand new competition, thanks to Yukonuba and to our dogs, of the Kennel Club Vulnerable Breeds. 24 breeds will come forward, and then we have the group. The one group today is, of course, Gun Dog Day. And that will make the third of the lineups complete for the 2016 Crumps Best in Show. So, I think we're uh, nearly all set to go. Who's well, as you can see, the ring is now set Who for is? the next item on the agenda. And it's one that we always enjoy here. 15 minutes of fun with the gun dog display with Philippa Williams. It's a marvelous demonstration. Always, she's very witty. She runs it with a great sense of humor and her dogs are absolutely adorable. Here she comes. It's lovely to see you all here on Gun Dog Day. We're going to start off with a bit of a riot squad. Oh, excuse me, excuse me boys. These don't go out until later on. Excuse me, boys. Excuse me, Barry. They don't, they, don't, they don't go out till later on. Sorry? These don't go out till later on. It's all right. It's OK, thank you very much. He's so keen. No, 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 not at all. Thank you very much. So we're just going to start off with um, a nice little sit and hold exercise. Um, these dogs are all bred to retrieve, so we don't need to spend too much time teaching them to retrieve. But it is really important whatever they bring back to us is not damaged. So we need to have a dog that's nice and soft and gentle in the mouth, that delivers nicely to hand. All of this will go into the food chain and eventually onto someone's table. So we need to make sure that we do it proud. So what we've got here is that we actually um, are bringing the retrieve towards us. Unlike a lot of people where they to chuck the retrieve out, we actually get the dog to bring the retrieve towards us. So Claudia, if you'd just like to take my manic little spaniels because they're totally out of control. I'm not meant to admit that, but you know, life's life, that's the way it is. So we're gonna lasso those. Um, good, sit up. So what I tend to do is, because I'm not a roughy, toughy gun dog person, I'd, I'd, I'd pick up throughout the season, but I don't do cold and I don't do wet and I don't do windy. I should be doing heel work to music, shouldn't I really? <laughs> um, what's your name? Uh, Sunny, good luck. So um, I do a lot of virtual reality training. So I sit down um, at home of an evening and I put an alcoholic beverage in a glass. Um, and we do a little bit of sit and holding and quite a bit of drinking and then a little bit more sit and holding and a lot more drinking. And then by the end of the evening, the dog has either learnt the behavior or I'm actually too, um, I think the word is inebriated, because I don't believe I'm allowed to say pissed in front of the television. <laughs> Good lad, well done. Good. Come on. Good lad. But I think you get the gist of it. So the reason we're bringing the dog in for forward is so we can keep eye contact, and immediately they're coming in and sit and having a nice lot of fuss. So there's that. What are we doing now then, girls? Oh, we're meant to be down there, are we? Oh, my goodness me. Here we go. So let's put my spare dogs. Lie down. Sparrow, lie down. Good lad. So don't forget all of your commands should be nice and gentle. Mango, lie down. Good. We don't want to turn those into punishment. What's your name? Sunny, come on. So this is Thumper Lumper. So uh, here we go. So what are we doing now, girls? Stop. So. First of all, the dog is a visual learner, so we're going to teach the dog visually first. It's easier for the dog to learn that way. It's not a particularly good listener. So if we teach it visually on the first onset, then we're prepared to put a five pound bet down if we say it, the dog will do it. Then we add an audible cue. Ultimately, the end result may well be a whistle. 
So I'm going to cheat because I'm going to have put my toy in my stop hand because that's the hand I want my dog to watch. I'm also going to cheat because I'm going to use a clicker. So it's just a quick, fast way of teaching a dog. Um, I'm lazy. All right, girls, off we go. I'm lazy, I'm perfectionist, and I get bored very easily. All the good reasons for using a clicker, but you can teach perfectly well without one. Good lad, well done, good boy. So we've got the visual cue, now we're going to go on to an audible. Sun, sun, good lad. You ready? Sst. And if the audible didn't work, we could back it up with the visual. Well done, good lad, good boy, well done. Now we're going to pop our whistle on board, off we go. So you might think, well, the dog is responding to the whistle. No, it's not. No. It's responding to us stopping. So we've now got to take the stop out of the equation. So we're going to carry on walking. So we're going to do a nice gun dog turn, twiddle. Lots of twiddling in my classes. Lots of twiddling and twirling. So we're ready then, girls. Off we go. Good lad. Good. Good. So we've taken ours out of the equation. Each one of these girls are going to reward in a slightly different way. So off we go, Christine. Christine's going to reward with her ball. There we go. So lots of people will say, well, it actually teaching your dogs with toys makes them unsteady. Well, obviously it doesn't. Teaching the dog with food makes them spit the retrieve out. Well, obviously it doesn't. We're very fortunate we have three field trial, no, sorry, four field trial champions in the arena, all trained with toys and food and all the things that you're going to ruin a good dog with. Good lad, get it. Good lad, well done. Good boy, well done, thank you. Good. 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 So, off we go. Sit. We're going to leave them here. Good lad, sit. Sun, sun, this week would be nice. Thank you. Oh, dear, dear, dear. La, 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 la. So that was all right, because we were there with them. We're now going to call them in, stop them on the way to us. I'd just like to keep going, girls. Down you go. We're going to start off with uh, Pepe's uh, Irish Water Spaniel. She's only 18 months old. Love her. Oh, well done, Pepe. Don't forget, you can applause. It makes us feel that you're not all asleep. Well done. And the Irish Water Spaniel is on the vulnerable native breeds list. I said the extinction list, I think, earlier on in the day but it's not obviously extinct because it's here. So it's on the vulnerable breeds list. I think Christine might like the flat coat to be on the extinct list. Might be by the end of the day. All right, Sal, off you go. Oh, Christine. But she's a good girl tonight. Well done, well done, good girl. Good. And Sarah, oh, that was a nice one. Well done, Sarah. So each one is losing, so... Um, Maiko there, uh, she's just using a visual cue, someone used just an audible, someone using a whistle and a visual. So a whole series of, well done, well done. Good lad. Sonny come. Sst. Good boy. Sonny come. Sst. Uh, no, we're not in the show ring now, darling. Ah, uh, that's better. <laughs> Sonny come. Good boy. Good, boy. Good, boy. Good lad. Well done. So, where are we now, girls? Whoa, we're pushbacks. Ooh, ooh. There's, there's posh for you. So, once we've cast the dog out, you may well need to stop it as we've just taught it to come and stop forward. We're now going to teach it to push back. It's really quite helpful if you can push your dog back on the right arm and it turns on its left shoulder, left arm and it turns on its right shoulder. So, do we have Philip Pheasant? Neil, wake up. Philip Pheasant, good lad. Oh, shall we put him out? Now, this, this, is, um, this is Philip. He's not dead. We're not allowed to say that. He's just fast asleep. So here he is. He's not going anywhere. I can pick him by hand. He's very tempting, isn't he? Very realistic. Don't think about it. Um, but he, he's not going anywhere. But I believe that Sonia Signet up there She's got a bit of a sore bottom, and she needs to be picked and dispatched as quickly as possible. So come on, girls, if you'd like to push backs, well done. So there goes Bunty, the vulnerable native breed, Irish Water Spaniel, beautiful. And she's only 18 months old, so superb, well done. 
Here we go. And see how these dogs are going back in a dead straight line? More than I can say for mine. So they didn't go veering off. They should go back at 12 o'clock. Don't think about it. Good lad. So he's going for another rare bird, a Sonia Signet. Senecan, Senecan. Yay, don't cheat. Good lad. Good, well done. Thank you. Good boy. So the same applies. Let's say there was game all along the hedge here or the ditch. <laughs> it's mine. Um, that's where the dogs will like to go. So if I pushed him back on my right arm, they may misconstrued and get in there where all the game's going to erupt. And of course, they shouldn't be retrieving anything that doesn't have shot scent or blood scent on them. We don't want them running amok on all the live game. Thank you very much. So what are we doing now? Oh, lefts and rights, how exciting. Can I have another retrieve? Thank you very much, thank you. Uh, what's your name? Sunny, sit up. Good. So, lefts and rights, if we're going to envisage that the dog is where the hands of the clock are, then this should be thrown out at quarter past and the other one out at quarter two. If you don't get your stops bang on, um, all of your direction goes out of sync. So, if your dog doesn't stop where it should stop, which is in between these two, then your quarter past or your quarter two becomes 20 past or 22 or 10 two and 10 past. Are you all keeping up? <laughs> do, you all, do you all you awake out there? Jolly good. So here we go, that goes out there. But let's say your dog's behind a wall or in a wood or something like that. Your dog needs to be able to differentiate by an audible cue which way to go when it can't see you. So I'm cheating because I'm putting my hand up. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Good lad. So he's got to listen. So this is an absolute prime example. He goes visual cue. I know. Oh, and flat coat knows too. <laughs> oh, bring on the double retrieve. <laughs> I said. <laughs> I said this dog was going to be extinct by the end of the evening, didn't I? You thought I was joking, didn't you? Uh, I would like to say all the flat coat, flat boat, we call them. Flat boat people, put your hands up, but nobody will admit to it. <laughs> um, you've got to gather a very good sense of humor to own one. Hence, I don't. So, uh, so hand up. Yes, yeah, so the dog's got to learn to listen. It's not what is visually cued. The dog has to listen to what you're saying to it. So I'm deliberately going to send him to the other one. The other one. That one. <laughs> Away. Good lad. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. He's a good lad. He's a good boy. Thank you. Thank you. Sit. Doesn't matter what you call your lefts and rights. Um, Often throughout the sort of country, they call it different things. It doesn't matter, you could call it rhubarb and custard, really. It doesn't matter. Out. Good boy. Good lad. Well done. So that's left and right, anyway. Good boy. Good man. Well done. Thank you. Good. Right, what are we doing now? Pardon? You what? Finale? Is it time for the finale already? Sonny, hello. Thank you. Good boy. So we're now going to put the fence out. So hopefully, if all goes according to plan, and here we have Natalie with, I hasten to add, her field trial champion, Cocker. Well done. <laughs> and again, Natalie uh, uses reward training. The dogs uh, obviously loves it they all think they're just playing a game we'll need to come down here boys and girls now so uh we have sally here with her two golden retrievers both field trial champions um i'm very fortunate well done sally thank you uh i'm very fortunate i have one of my field trial champions here so we're all very very lucky people with very very lucky dogs and lovely dogs which we enjoy very much. Right, so this is where it all goes tits up. No, sorry, wrong. <laughs> sorry, very disastrously wrong. Because <laughs> this isn't the fence we normally have and we've got a very large gap that end. But don't panic. Right, so um, uh, Pepe's going to go forward with Bunty. 
because again, she's only young, this is how we break the exercises down. Well done, Natalie. Natalie, you just keep doing, you just keep playing your games. Well done, here she goes. Poor Natalie doesn't have a mic. Well done. So go a bit closer, Pepe. And Pepe may need to jump the jump with the dog. It's some part of the, part of the session. Um, good girl, well done. Good last, good girl, well done. In she goes. So uh, it's the first time this dog's ever been in the arena, obviously. Well done, Pepe, well done. Good girl. And Vespa. Good. Whee, good lass. I'm Linus a dog. Um, Sparrow, hello. Sparrow, would you like to come? Oh, yes, please, mummy. Yeah. You've got so many, you don't know which one you've got, which one you don't. So there's the show, uh, show gold in there as well, so as you can see. He's actually hurt his back, so she's, uh, Sarah's got her working golden in the right hand side and her show golden in the left. And look how that dog brought itself back on the jump. That's well done. Well done. There's Casper. Hey, hey, hey! Good boy, come on in! He says, I'll just go and check the other pile if you don't mind, mummy. Oh no, well done. Well done, Sarah. He's doing his lap of honour. He's a show dog. He thinks you're all here to work to the floor. Well done. Well done. Um, right, here we go. This is where disaster happens. Juice glue. Good girl. Good girl. So the dogs have to cross each other. Good on, come on, come on. So when we're out picking up, I usually take I don't know, between six and eight out at any one time. So we've got to make sure that they all work independently. Oh, there's Richard, the recyclable rabbit, going out. He's a bit of a tinky-winky, that one. Oh! Oh! Dear oh, I mean, don't you just love it when it all goes wrong? It's just delightful. Um, uh, what's your name? Um, Jim, 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 get out. Oh, wrong dog, never mind. Right name, right name, wrong dog. Good lad. Good lad, well done. Good boy. I'm so glad my dogs know their names because I was calling the black dog the yellow dog's name, but thank goodness he knew that. Uh, have a look a bit harder. Get in, get in. Since it's not here, Mamu, I think you'll find it is. Get in there. Get in. You know, he was a friend. He's guy's seriously going off. He was a friend. He's now my carer. Dear me. There we go. Um, right, Jack. Jack, get out. I've got the right dog's name then. Good lad. Get in. So, the dog shouldn't be swapping. Shouldn't be. They shouldn't be pulling game off each other. Shouldn't be. Um, but this is the way it goes. It's all um, a progress. Good lad. Good lad. Good boy. Whee! Good boy. Sparrowman. Let's see if we can do a little bit. Oh, then that's it. Good lad. One minute. Oh, my goodness. One minute. Right, so what we're going to do is just going to finish off. If we can bring the two cockers down here, please. That'd be great. I'm going to sit the rest of this lot up, which bring them in a bit closer. Well done. So, here we go. Sit up. Sparrow. Here. Claudia, can I have the two cockers? and a spare pair of arms, and a prosthetic arm, if you've got one. Here, so you need more arms, good. So, first and foremost, enjoy training your dogs. They are your best teachers at the end of the day. So, if you know what you're looking at, as far as sit, here you two. Actually, Tourette, you can sit there, good lad, sit. Sorry, did I, yeah, I don't know if he's given it to me or I, Caught it off, I don't know. But anyway, that's, uh, that's my Tourette's. Um, it's just the way it's just like, it's a, ter it's a term of endearment, I can assure you, but you might get shot. Are you ready? Are you ready for it? Are you ready, Toad? Bang!
Oh, I didn't shoot him very well. I've obviously got blanks in. Well, you have to, you know, you're not allowed to have ammunition. So. Well, he's only small, so he needs a head start, doesn't he? Right, the count of three. One, two, three. Whee! Well done. Oh, secret! Good girl! Good girl! Well done. Well done. Good. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them all another massive round of applause. Amazing! Well, I did tell you you'd enjoy that. If you didn't, I'd be very surprised. So they will clear the ring very quickly as we come to a new event here at the at Crufts.